case before the Independent Base Closure Commission. A group supporting Mare Island said the military's original reports are flawed. They say factual errors make the base look less valuable than it actually is. When the Navy's significant errors are corrected, the military value matrix ranks Mare Island as the Navy's third most valued shipyard after Puget Sound and Norfolk, not seventh. The commission now heads to San Diego to review Southern California bases scheduled for closure there. The commission makes its final recommendation to the president July 1st. A political reform group is saying the same special interest... In Oakland today, political leaders from all levels of government made their pitch on behalf of Bay Area military bases slated for closure. Mare Island Naval Shipyard was first to make its presentation to the Base Closure Commission. And when it was all over, more than 2,000 employees seemed cautiously optimistic about their fate. We get more now from Channel 50's Angela Jones. Mare Island employees showed their unanimous approval of the presentation made by its political support team to the Base Closure Commission. The panel targeted a Navy checklist, which they say erroneously, unjustifiably, and intentionally cites the base for closure. There were tons of errors. The Navy knows that there are errors. They did it deliberately because they want to close Mare Island. They wanted to close Mare Island for several years. And that's the reason we've been downsized more than any other shipwright in the United States. Among other discrepancies, Mare Island says the Navy's study ignored its top-secret ocean engineering status and gave them credit for only one cruiser or destroyer dry dock, when in fact the shipyard can actually service two of those vessels. The panel pushed for keeping the base open primarily for its unique contribution to the Navy's mission and regarded economic impact as an important but secondary consideration shared by every community facing a base closure. But our point is that there's no military basis for closure of Mare Island, and given that, there's certainly no reason to visit Arge Armageddon on the community. And you're talking about a, a, a possible uh, unemployment rate as high as 33% in the city of Vallejo alone, 20% in Fairfield, 19% uh, in Vacaville. I mean, this is big, big stuff. And Congressman Dan Hamburg, who favors recommitting defense dollars to domestic spending, says he also favors preserving jobs and the taxpayers' investment. Uh, I am a big advocate of conversion. What I am not an advocate of is closing down these, uh, these bases that contain incredible infrastructure, incredible uh, uh, wealth of skilled workers, and just putting a padlock on them and sending people home to unemployment checks and, uh, you know, and public assistance. That is not a solution here. Today's presentation for Mare Island is one of more than 30 scheduled to be heard by the Base Realignment and Closure Committee. Their findings will be presented to President Clinton by June 30th for his revisions or changes, and we should know by September 1st which bases will be slated for closure. In Oakland, Angela Jones, Channel 50 News. Three people are being held without bail tonight for allegedly stabbing a man. Hour and 30 minutes for Mare Island Navy Shipyard and all the testimony.